hi and welcome to my channel this is the design that i'll be cutting out today i've just got it transferred down from usb onto the machine so that i can get it resized and cut out on the vinyl i'm using self adhesive vinyl it doesn't matter what color your vinyl is or what color your design is on the screen because we're just using this design as a template to guide us when we're doing the painting now i'm putting it down on my um healing board so that i can smoothen out all the bubbles that got trapped while cutting or any wrinkles then i'm using the weeding tool to weed out the design so that i can reveal the shape that i need to paint in i tend to keep the negatives of the design because they can come handy and I can use them for other projects not yet decided what projects but I know I will definitely be using them so nothing goes to waste then I get to weed out you see the the I tend to use bold lettering rather than scripts because it's much easier and you don't lose definition when cutting it when you're cutting out script thinner thinner lines now it's just a matter of transferring it onto the paper that i'm going to paint on and using the carrier sheet you need one of these carrier sheets to be able to lift up your vinyl and transfer it onto your medium people that do vinyl work will know what i'm talking about but the materials as i said will be listed down below and once they, they have put it on i tend to smoothen it out and use the buffer to gently buff it onto the paper and rub it down properly so that i can lift off the carrier sheet and the design is now ready to be painted i've picked out quite a few pens to use because i'm going for the green amber red kind of design as you might have noticed on the initial screen when it was on my laptop so I won't necessarily be using all these pens but they're mixtures of inks and marker pens that I'll be using with some aqua and pinata brass. Now enjoy the process of the painting and see you in a short while. I'm using, I uh, forgot to mention, I'm using a Tresemme dryer on cool setting and it's advisable to not use it especially over the vinyl itself because the more it you put on it, it would add to the paper and the heat you know, you'll get residue when you're taking off the vinyl.
I'll be adding some speckles of alcohol ink just to give it a little bit more definition. It's just something that I do every now and then with this kind of paintings. I do a final drying, not to move the alcohol, but just to dry the speckles of alcohol in the alcohol that I put on and just the general painting itself, just to dry it a little bit more. Now the big reveal, let's see what we've got. Gently pull off your vinyl. It looks a little bit fast here, but it, it's because it's sped up. I was actually going really quite slow um, to make sure that you don't peel off the paint and you don't peel off the paper itself. But if you haven't applied any heat onto the paper, you shouldn't really have any residue of glue or uh, paper lifting. And this is not even Yupo or Nava paper. I tend to use active paper when I do this kind of design. I wipe up any excess ink there you as you can see there isn't really any but I do sort of just wipe off the edges just to make sure and that's it really I put it around the mount pot and you'll see the pictures hope you enjoyed watching it thank you Please subscribe, share and like. Thanks for watching.